Hello guys, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. In this lecture, we will discuss about React JS. Uh, we will start React JS from now. So kindly subscribe the Jahanzeeb Coder channel and because the English lectures will be uploaded in this channel about programming and every aspect uh, you will face. Okay, now let's learn about uh, the React JS. Before starting the React JS, kindly subscribe to my channel by going into the YouTube by directly going into YouTube and search my channel and subscribe it. Okay, without wasting any time, let's get started with the React JS. So as we know that the before starting the React JS, you need a proper understanding of HTML and JavaScript. You need a proper understanding of HTML and JavaScript. Basically, front-end development is what the client sees. Client sees what? Front-end development. That is front-end development. Rather than code, rather than other functionalities that are encapsulated from the client. Okay, front-end development deals what the client sees. Okay, and you need a proper understanding to understand React JS of HTML and JavaScript okay because react JS is a very best library to manage the code in an easy way okay to manage the code in an easy way we need react JS react JS is the library developed by the Facebook okay now let's get started with our HTML we now that in our HTML we have a div tag div tag which is basically a container box a blog you can say it anything that you uh, want okay so basically i'm going to the text editor and making it uh, div and here i'm going to make an id okay this is the container okay this is the tag div tag which is basically the container to access this tag in JavaScript we need to put an ID attribute here okay ID is equals to access so we have put the ID here ID is equals to access here so we can access it in the JavaScript code script in our script okay now we now add document dot get element by an ID is the method which is used to get an ID which is used to access the element with a certain ID. So we have given an ID access here. So we will use document or get element by ID access. So the element have been accessed in the JavaScript code now. Now for further we will uh, write dot inner HTML is equals to uh, let me remove these. Okay. Uh, is equals to hello JavaScript yeah hello react okay hello react so this will be rendered on the uh, on the browser no uh, I think there is some error because uh, before getting the content we have play we have to place this at the bottom of the page okay now this is right this is the right way to access okay the hello react has been rendered to the div element okay you can also put a h1 around it so it will be act like uh, uh it will be act like a uh, heading okay so to make it a heading wrap it around the tags okay in this way it, it is rendered to the div element so yeah we have a div element and to access this div element we have an id and to access that id we have get the id in the javascript in this way document dot get element by id and the id name okay so in this way you can get let's create our first project so you need to install node.js that we have discussed in the previous session if in previous class so uh, install uh, i will explain it to you again so go to the in website and install node.js for your operating system according to your operating system it will be installed okay i have already this software in my folder so i have to check this in the in my folder uh, 
somehow these are many files so let it go i have already installed it okay in the previous lecture i have tell you how to install these softwares okay so the second thing is go to your any folder and make a react project okay by using some commands we we will have to create a react project so i'm going to make it a uh, react js folder and here in this folder go to here and write cmd and press enter so after that write a command npx create react app react app and my app or you can say that uh, let's make counter app so i'm going to write counter here so counter so this command will create your app this command will create your app it will install all the dependencies that are required okay now it may take a while it may take a while to install all the dependencies i hope so okay it will installed uh, now oops some there is some capitalize okay okay let's create uh, a, let's write the command again with small letters all small letters okay i hope uh, this uh, npx create react app and then counter c o u n t e r yes the uh, write it in the small letters okay i'm going to write counter app so it will install all the dependencies and files that are required for our react app you can see that uh, here it has created a folder and all the dependencies will be in the folder within a while so without wasting any time let's do it yes okay i'm going to pause it for a while and after that yes this is has been installed all the files happy hacking happy hacking yes now go to the folder and <clears throat> and start the manager package manager okay the second thing is go to the folder and again click on this and cmd again and then write npm start npm start node package manager will be started and the development server will be started within a while now after starting the server you can access your app on local host by using your favorite browser i'm going to hit and i'm going to write localhost colon 3000 so the app will be accessed here in my browser yes the react app is here now we can access our app by starting the server using the npm start uh, npm start command yes i hope all this lecture is well done okay N see you in the next lecture you can also add this folder in the sublime text here so we will work in the will work with these with these files the starting point is basically the index.js and app.js this is the starting point that you will find in the source folder okay in app.js and index.js we will work on these files okay so if you have not subscribed my channel kindly subscribe my channel for the latest tutorials bye bye